The thoracic spine is the area of the spine that contains and supports the rib cage. It's a very rigid structure, but should still have a big range of motion. The problem is, is that people tend to have too much flexion or bending forward. When Sam's opening up here, he's showing a much more natural and open posture. Right now we're going to work from the base of the neck to the base of the rib cage, with the goal of getting some extension and motion back into this area. Start by laying back on the roller right at the base of the neck. Lean back, let your neck and shoulders relax, take a couple deep breaths, then move on to the next segment. If you want to make it more intense, you can give yourself a big hug and rotate from side to side like you'll see Sam doing here. You can repeat that sequence all the way down to the base of the rib cage. The problem here is that most people have too much rigidity in the thoracic spine along with too much flexion. Flexion is a bending forward of the thoracic spine, usually caused from too much sitting, cycling, or anything else that bends you forward. If the thoracic spine is nicely extended, then the head sits right on top of the spine and the shoulders sit back in their natural position. It's the foundation for the head, neck, and shoulders, so it's important to first make sure you have an open and natural posture here. If your shoulders round forward or if your head drifts forward naturally, then start by opening up the thoracic spine. The rhomboids and traps are on either side of the spine, and you can reach them by turning the roller sideways and working around the shoulder blade. These are shoulder adductors, the muscles that pull the shoulder towards the spine. Again, since there's multiple layers of muscle here, you don't need to worry about which exact one you're working on. It's really an exercise in gaining range of motion in your upper neck and shoulders. By ungluing all these muscles, you allow the whole system to move more efficiently. You can see here that Sam's slowly moving the roller up and down the inner shoulder blade here. Keep in mind that muscles can be stuck both long and short, so doing this work before you stretch or exercise can be a big help. It's just simple body maintenance stuff. Go ahead and switch sides after you've gone around the whole shoulder blade. For more tips and tricks, visit radroller.com.